few days now from 4th of July. What is it, day after tomorrow? 4th of July. Big, is that the biggest hot dog day of the year, Dave? I think that does go down. Uh, Labor Day doesn't rank maybe Memorial Day, but I think July 4th is where it's at. I mentioned this a bit earlier. Uh, you were not in the room yet, but I was reading today about different states and their hot dog preferences, and I was really surprised. I mean, most are just a regular hot dog with chili or whatever, my mustard, mustard. ketchup. Mustard and ketchup. Mm-hmm. But some, there are some that had names like... Uh, in New Mexico, it, they like a crescent roll hot dog, which are like pigs in a blanket, but they and they put cheese on top of them. So they consider that like a New Mexico hot dog. That's what they call them. And that's a normal thing there? Or is that just like a one-off kind Did of Did you say thing? New Orleans or New Mexico? New Mexico. Mexico. New Mexico. They, a it's crescent a roll. Normal thing there, yeah. A crescent roll, like a pig's in a blanket, but larger, and then smothered in cheese. And mm-hmm. that's a hot dog you so get. So the cheese is on the outside? Yes. and uh, You can't eat it with your hand that way. No. Yeah. It's more of a fork and knife thing. You know, uh, I've never been one to, uh, like, cheese dogs. I don't like those. I did. Nah. Mama used to make uh, cheese dogs for us. You know, she'd you like boil, the, boil the hot dogs. Yeah. They were ballpark franks. Yeah. And, you know, standard bun. She'd put the cheese underneath it. Yeah. So the dog would rest on a, yeah. a melt V of cheese. You like that? We did. Yeah. Sharp, like a sharp cheddar cheese. In our house. <laughs> In the 60s. This is wrapped in plastic, dude. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm Individually. Sorry, I'm sorry. Standard American. Right, American. Craft American. Oh, I apologize. On, I, want to, I want to apologize for that. And they weren't even individually wrapped in. You just had to slab them apart. Yeah. It was one slab of cheese. A processed cheese food. Now he makes them with a Humboldt fog. That's <laughs> right. Exactly. Oh, Humboldt fog cheese. <laughs> the, the, the others, uh, let's see, there's a Brazilian hot dog. Oh, no, that's shaved. <laughs> Yes, you, you shave the center of the bun. I take it to the, you, you sh- take a razor to it. You shave the center of the bun, <laughs> put the hot dog right there. There's not a lot there. No, it's very minimalist. It's a hot dog covered in meat sauce, Parmesan, shoestring potatoes, and peas. And Good this, this is very popular in Ohio and other spots in the Midwest. Hmm. Come on now, someone from Ohio has to be listening. Yeah, right a, now, a Brazilian hot dog, and can speak to this. Is that a thing? It's a hot hot dog covered in meat sauce, Parmesan, shoestring potatoes. I thought you'd like that, day. and peas. Yeah, no. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. no. So many strange textures. Sounds terrible. I sent Biggie a uh, a YouTube guy that makes hot dogs, and all they do, he, he wears a GoPro. Mm-hmm. And it's 20 minutes of this guy making hot dogs in a cart in, I want to say, Chicago. Mm-hmm. And he's just sitting there making them. And he does, they do anything you want. Mm-hmm. To order? Uh, yeah, and it's a cart, I think, but he, he may have a building as well. But he puts chili on it, and then he'll go over to another little section, and he'll put the, he'll put those potato sticks on them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with chili and potato sticks and, and, and like a cheese. Do you like that idea? No. I don't either. No, I'm traditionalist kind of. I People put uh, potato chips on their burgers, dogs. I don't like that. I don't mind a little you, crunch. You, you want, I, I would do that in my teens and 20s. Yeah, but I'd yeah. rather get the crunch from a pickle on a sandwich. They're doing a thing now. I believe this is, uh, I want to say Massachusetts. They're making a, a thing called a pickle bun sandwich at one food truck, one restaurant. Pickle bun. And the, the buns... Are large pickles. You know, they have sliced them off. So you put the fried or just. I think it's regular. I pickles. think it's a green pickle. And I saw it. It went famous on TikTok. The guy at the restaurant. Well, if you get a bit of, big enough pickle, you can slice it out. That's what and they you do. Make it a canoe. That's what they. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a pickle bun sandwich. It's pickle new. And the guy was talking about. It. I had no idea. He's like, we've been doing these. I put it on TikTok, and suddenly somebody saw it. Put it on their TikTok and it went viral. I saw it on TikTok. My daughter said it's the best salmon you'll ever have. I cut the ends off, slice it down the middle, pour it out. I don't want to like get too many seeds in it. I put it over here. That is so good. Everyone's getting it. TikTok famous. I'm gonna try it. Especially love pickles. We're selling like 250, 300 pickles a day. So you're. It sounds like what you said yep. was right. You. Hollow it out, yeah. make it into a boat, and it becomes a uh, pickle sandwich. Before mm-hmm. this, a couple of years ago, like cucumber boats mm-hmm. sandwiches were all the rage. You take a cucumber, hollow, hollow out. that out. I never heard instead that. Of, it's a low-carb option. Instead uh, of bread. Mm-hmm. Boo. <laughs> Kelly's ears perked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no way to... Wait, av- what? <laughs> I, I, we can't avoid these items. You should show up at your lake with a bunch of cucumbers. <laughs> You get slapped. We'll drown Your family you. gathering. <laughs> I brought buns, everybody. <laughs> well, we're having a lake. Uh, of course you are. We're having a lake party. Well, yeah, yeah. We're, we're having a lake f- party on the fourth, and uh, it's gonna be nice and hot out mm-hmm. there. We're ready to go. Yeah. And I, I don't know exactly what way. We could do burgers and dogs. We might do a low country boil. I don't know. Ah, low country boil. Ooh. I guess you could eat some of that, right? Could you have the shrimp? Yeah. I have the shrimp, mm-hmm. and I'll have no butter, please. Uh, yeah. No butter. You eat a corner cob, can't you? No butter. No salt. <laughs> 
He's right. On you those. need to take our, our, no butter. Uh, you need to take our American Badass song with you. <laughs> Play that every time you go to eat something. That's the, well, the other day, uh, in fact, no sausage, please. That you're right. The other day, I'll I just have dry shrimp. <laughs> I'll just have the shell. I'll I, just uh, have the shells. Can I have a paper towel to pat this dry? It has butter on it. <laughs> and badass, watch me kick. You can roll with rock yeah. Radio. Yeah. Uh, just last Saturday, there was a birthday party in my wife's family, and they had burgers and dogs. Different spot. Not at the lake, but um, at a home. At a home, and uh, I just had a small fruit cup. I uh, put uh, fruit on my plate. And that's what they called you. <laughs> Small fruit cup. <laughs> Did you put a candle in it for the, the birthday party? <laughs> in your little uh, yes. jar of grapes and yes. yeah. uh, uh, honeydews. Those burgers look delicious. I'll have a fruit cup. <laughs> Everybody said to me, like, how was the burger? I said, mm, I, ate, mm. I, ate, I said, I ate one real Smelled early. so good. It smells so good. <laughs> you know... We have to suffer when we try to eat the right thing. We suffer in that way. And there's no getting around it. These hot dogs are super processed. I mean, that's like the most. Good. Su- yeah. <laughs> this is the most- it makes them delicious. <laughs> this is the most super processed food you can eat. Yeah. I have to rail against the 4th of July. Tubed meat, baby. Tube, tubed meat. <laughs> this is the most super processed. It's American. Badass. <laughs> but I've just read a study on super processed foods. Is it good news? It's not good news. It's a 30-year study. And it says that if you eat too many super processed foods, and the leaders there were these deli meats and soda, uh, big time, and ice cream, which is exactly what the 4th of July is made for. Right. So you'll die up to 10 years earlier. 10 Ten years. Oh, that's it? (laughs) Bring it. Box ticking. (laughs) Worth it. Worth it. The way things are trending. (laughs) I think he's right about that. Yeah, you might want to celebrate this 4th of July like no other. Just enjoy. Can we knock that down to four years? (laughs) Just enjoy. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, 10 years. That was a letdown. I expected it to be way worse. (laughs) Well, good for you. It's good news. This could shave 10 years off your life. Bring it. Perfect. (laughs) Perfect. Uh, in Hawaii, they like dirty water hot dogs. Now, that's this is interesting to me. They boil them in some like a vinegar or garlic powder. Oh. So, you know, so, the, the, so not just water. No, so the weenie itself would be infused with flavor. And they have a lot of different flavors. Dirty huh. water hot dog. Dirty water hot dog on the street of New York is very good. Have you had it? Oh, yeah. And absolutely. What, what do they boil it in? They, they just boil it in it's water. Just it just water. gets dirty. <laughs> Oh, it's just literally dirty water. Yeah, I mean, after after all the, you know, after uh, oh, 50 yeah. hot dogs sit in that water for yeah. hours at a time, get that. eight hours later, it's dirty water. Dirty hot dog water. Yeah. yeah. I love that dirty water. Yeah, that makes sense. I love that dirty I'll tell you what's water. impressive is you watch some of these guys with the dirty water dogs, watching them stab the dog mm-hmm. is unbelievable, like how good they are. They're pros, It's man. like spear fishermen. Like an Inuit with a killer whale. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't understand. Harpoon. I don't understand. They don't cleanse their water. They have. They, they well, have I think they start fresh in it's the morning. Fresh, but by the end of the day, yeah, you've been cooking dogs in it all day. Same, same water. Same water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all day on the streets of New York. Oh yeah, yeah. And you have a hot dog that way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They just pour it right down the drain. Yep. Use a two a two uh, prong fork, and they use the same fork to get out the uh, all the the relish, the kraut, and, the, the kraut and and the slaw and everything. They just they mix those. Yes. Contaminated mm-hmm. like Of course. That. If you ask for a clean water dog, they'll throw you out of New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'll send you to New Jersey. Or, oh. or Connecticut. Oh, that's but, right. Yeah, that's where you go. Not New Jersey. Yeah, yeah not New Jersey. New Jersey's too. Uh, those are filthier. New Jersey's even. Yeah, those are street dogs. Dirtier yeah. water. It's like the people come and ask for fresh fries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like my fries to be fresh. Get out. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> not doing that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the dirty water dog is cooked in. I th- that sounds interesting to me because you do have season the water. They season the water, yeah, different flavors. Then in Arizona, there is a, a Sonoran hot dog, and it's like a hot dog and a taco, but you put the hot dog in a taco shell. Dave, you've done this kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I think I've heard of a Sonoran. A Sonoran. Yeah, and they put spices and mm-hmm. pink peppers on Correct. it, such as that. And in a hot dog, in a taco shell, but it's a hot dog weenie. Yeah, all right. Yeah, they do that. That's the best one so far. And in New York, especially upstate New York, a combination, it's called a white hot dog. The dog appears yes. white. You've seen? I've seen them. I've never had one, but yeah, they are white. The beef, well, the, the dog is a combination of pork, beef, and veal. Yeah. So it's got veal. It's got uh, veal in it. Yeah. That, that'd be kind of interesting. Maybe. A different, I don't know. A different taste, different texture, maybe. I like a beef hot dog. I don't know why that is. But. You've, you've been a... 
a beef hot dog man for a long time. Yeah, I have. Although those nice, those red ones mm-hmm. that you get up at the racetrack. Oh, the real skinny pinks? The, the skinny reds? Yeah. yeah. The red hots? They got a place in my heart, too. There's, there's two more items about the 4th of July. We had a report here this morning. This caught our eye on our local Fox affiliate. Uh, the report is we're traveling more than ever. This is like going to be a record-breaking year. We're totally back from pandemic now, and we're driving and flying more than we ever had for this 4th of July. And uh, I think they set this poor reporter up. Chris Dim does, too, the, the anchor. Because they, they tag team it. The first anchor says, oh, this is going to be a really busy travel season. But the next one says, however, lines at the airport won't be that long. So they, they make her say that. And they go right to the story. And they go right to the story. So listen to what the second anchor says versus the first person in the story. Passengers are packing terminals and creating long security lines. But as Daniel Pierce explains, wait times may not be as long as we think. This line is not so. It goes on forever and it just gets longer and longer. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a setup. But, <laughs> that's a wind up. That's how you do the news. That's a wind up. <laughs> That's, excuse me. That's a 100% wind up. I, yeah, I do feel bad for the anchor. Yeah, you know, wait times won't be as long this year. You draw them in, yeah. and then you let them go. But I say you do, yeah. Security lines. But as Daniel Pierce explains, wait times may not be as long as we think. This line is not so. It goes on forever, and it just gets longer and longer. <laughs> there's no end to it. <laughs> not so. <laughs> not so. Not so. This line goes forever and ever, and it just there's no end. Yeah. It's well, packed. It's not I, bad, but it's awful. a young man when I lined yeah. up. Yeah, wait. <laughs> Wait times are... Our kids are in college now. <laughs> Less than you think. <laughs> then uh, there's a city in Texas that is using Elmo, the beloved uh, Muppet character Elmo, it, to... And this is Round Rock, Texas. Fireworks are illegal on the 4th of July. You cannot shoot off fireworks anywhere in the town. And so they're using Elmo to send out <laughs> that message. Elmo has something very, very important to tell you. Using or having fireworks in Round Rock is a big no-no. It's really not smart. You can end up with a fine up to $2,000, and that's a lot of cookies. Elmo loves cookies. <laughs> fireworks might seem fun, but they can cause big problems. If you can't understand that by now, you're not just being reckless, you're being irresponsible. You're irresponsible and selfish. <laughs> Who's the target audience for this? Four-year-olds? Who children. Have, uh, children who, who have ordinance. Lighting off uh, fireworks. Yeah, it's, it's a very half-hearted Elmo. I don't know why he's, like he's in his kitchen. He is. Yeah. Uh, why are they using Elmo? Like, yeah, who's what adult's going to see this and go, oh, well, Elmo told me. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I'll tell you, I just noticed, though, at the uh, we were at the beach, and they had signs there, no fireworks on the beach. Uh, happy Fourth of July, but no mm. respect the beach. No fireworks. No oh, fireworks. They're out mm-hmm. there every year. Every year. And the next day, if you're there on the 5th, you see all the remnants of the mm-hmm. fireworks yeah of course uh worst firework ever bootleg fireworks oh. it's that time of year it's that time of year the gentleman who had bootleg fireworks that went well at first and then poorly oh, oh, Lord jesus jesus lord jesus lord jesus lord jesus lord jesus oh Whoa, whoa! That was awesome. That was good. That was awesome right there. God, God. Until the whoa. tree catches on fire oh, right about here. Oh, 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 Lord Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Get the wire! Jesus Christ! Lord have mercy! Get the wire! It's going down! Oh, the motherfucking bootleg fireworks! Oh, oh, oh. That's bootleg fireworks. It's rough. That's a rough experience. So Elmo was right. Yeah, he was. Uh, <laughs> it turned bad quick. That's what they should use yes. instead of Elmo.